hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is morgan and today i'm going to be taking you on a quick summer hygiene shopping i guess i'm going to try to do like a 100 dollars budget so this thing popped up on my target app for 15 off of a 100 dollars purchase might go over i mean i'm not going to complain about 15 dollars off plus some other little target cartwheel coupons that i have so i figure it's the perfect time to grab some summer essentials that i've been wanting so i'm going to take you guys along with me These are on the list. And then we gotta go to the baby section because I like to use Baby Dove. So I know it typically you use a feminine wash that's made for that, but I like to go ahead and use Baby Dove because it's really gentle and it's fragrance free. And I find that it just keeps me a lot fresher, a lot longer, and I just enjoy it a lot more than using any other hip and washes. I don't have the smaller size. Usually I get this size. It lasts about two and a half months. So I'm just going to get the larger size for $9.99. Not a bad deal. It'll last the rest of the summer. I know that. So we'll get this. <laughs> Oh, thank you. So now we're going to go grab, I think we'll do the Dr. Bronner's. I'm really excited. They have different kinds. Let's stop and go to the shave gels. I didn't know they were right here. I like the Crema, but I think I'm going to stick with this one. It's the Eos vanilla bliss i like this one a lot because it's more like a shave gel but also a cream um and it's in between and it's not expensive it's only 3.99 it used to be 3.19 now it's 3.99 but we're still gonna pay for it okay so next we can go to the dr bronner's oh look they have the micellar water They have the citrus one that I want for summer, but I don't know if I want to try. I have the one that I love the most, but I still have some of that, so I don't need it. And then I do like this lavender one as well, but I think I was going to get it in the bar. Yes. So they have the bars here as well, so I'm going to grab the bars. I can't live without this, and I'm out of this, and they don't have it in the big section, so, so I'm going to get both. So I need to grab one of these serums. They're really amazing. Are they, does it say $15.99? No, no, $19.99. Okay, that's what I thought. And the micellar water, since I use it all summer, I think I should get the big one. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna get this one. Okay. All right. Okay, so a couple makeup things, and then, so we're almost done. It's a quick, a quick little shot. 
this is my setting spray the nyx dewy finish i really enjoy this one So I am going to choose a tree hug scrub based on the saltwater breeze routine that I'm going to record for you guys soon. I bought some saltwater breeze products from Bath & Body Works for the SAS sale. Now I'm trying to pick a scrub because they didn't have the matching scrub that day and I ran out of my scrub which you'll see in my empties video coming up. But now let's pick out a scrub. So I really like the Coco Colada scrub but i don't know if it will go <laughs> with a saltwater breeze theme so let's see they have blue lagoon i bet there's no way to smell these tropic glow that actually might go with the saltwater breeze smell it we don't know what to think okay that was nice you think it, i think so this one is red algae and dead sea minerals Oh, it is open. This is saltwater breeze. It is. That is that is perfect. Okay, so this is my summer scrub. Ten bucks. I might as well just go to Sephora for my normal one. So I don't have an eyebrow pencil today, but what I used is a lip liner that's brown. So we're just gonna we're we're just gonna leave that where that's at. I think I'm going to wait and get my Sephora brand one that I normally use because I have to get some things from Sephora anyway. So yes. Ooh, I've been wanting to try foot mask, but I'm not quite sure if they actually do anything. I've been using bag balm on my feet. Don't don't pan into them or anything. But <laughs> yes, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll try one of these. If you've tried any of these, let me know in the comments below. Ah, perfect. So we have the Vaseline Lip Therapy down here. And I'm going to grab one of these and also one of these. Last but not least, we just have to go to the oral care. They have a food stock! Yay! I love these! These little tongue scrapers I've been using recently, and I think they work really well. So, grab these. Oh, was my bra showing the whole time? I hope not. And then, so Smart Mouth, I just get the original. I don't have any clinical things going on, as I've said, so I just kind of let it go and get the original here. This is the last item. We'll see what this totals to. I think it's going to be like around like 115, 120. So all of our items have been checked off. We're gonna go ahead and check out and see what this came to, and then I'll do a little haul at the end for you back at the place. all right everyone so welcome to the haul portion of the video and excuse if you see my cats in the background i'm gonna go ahead and go through each item and show you what i got so that you can know why i picked them up what's good about them if you should pick them up and then yeah so let's get started I have two bags here if you're wondering what the budget of this video is. I wanted to stay under $150. I had this coupon that was like $15 off of the $100 purchase because I also saw that there was a 15% off of Dr. Brana's products and I knew I wanted to pick up the citrus soap. So I went ahead and went and got all of my summer products at one time. All of this together after those two promotions came out to $127.02. So not too bad. So for oral hygiene, I picked up some 
Grin Tongue Cleaners. I really like these tongue cleaners because they actually work. I use them at night before I go to bed when I'm brushing my teeth. So I'll like brush my teeth, use a tongue cleaner, do a little brush on my tongue with the toothbrush as well. Push around some um, mouthwash. This is the mouthwash that I use here in a bit. And then I throw this away. So I had to pick up some refills because I'm running out of these. So if we cannot eat the bag. Because the next thing that I got for oral care was this Smart Mouth mouthwash. It's not easy to travel with. Actually, you can't travel with it at all. So just know that about this. Uh, when I'm traveling, I do pick up some Fair Breath. But when I'm not traveling, I like to use the Smart Mouth. They have a clinical and a, an original version. I like the original version personally. But I go to the dentist regularly, so I just need a little bit of something. This has zinc activated breath rinse qualities. There's a two-step process, so as you pour it into the cup, it mixes together and activates the two solutions, and they work really nicely together, especially paired with the use of these at night. You'll never go wrong. So after I brush my teeth or do anything throughout the day, um, I like to use these Vaseline lip therapy kit. There's a one that you can throw in your purse. Well, both of these you could throw in your purse, but this one you dip your finger in. And this one you just squeeze out. I like to have both options. I keep one of these in the shower so when I do my lip scrub I put it on. And that concludes lip care. So next we'll go into facial care because I only have a couple products for that. So the first product is this Notorium Vitamin C Serum. We've seen this in a video before if you've watched any of my previous videos. You know I love this. It works really well with paired with sunscreen. That's a very big thing that my dermatologist let me know. I do use it every morning. I pump here, I pump here, up here, and I'm done. I do use it paired with one of those little fans, personal handheld fan that allows it to dry to the skin before I apply my moisturizer and then my sunscreen. This was the priciest thing in the entire haul, which was $19.99. So if you're wondering, that's kind of something that hiked the price up. Another facial product that I love that I got a bigger version of is this Garnier Micellar Water. I love the Garnier. I get the waterproof. I don't wear any waterproof makeup, but I like the waterproof one just because to me it's not as greasy or anything like that. And that's it for facial care. And then I got one makeup item, which was this NYX Ordnix setting spray. It, I really like this one. Uh, I used it today. So if you like something that's going to give you that fresh kind of glowy skin look, this is what I use. And I really enjoy it. And then I bought these cotton rounds that I really like to use paired with the micellar water so in the morning and at night I do a double cleanse so I cleanse first with micellar water and the cotton pad and I like the premium ones because they don't tear apart on you they're actually made with these um, these seals going around the end they're sealed so they won't rip apart kind of like the Walmart ones they were $2.39 and you get a hundred of them so they last me the entire month for body care I got some Costel soap I rose hemp bar soap. I'll use this with Cozy Cashmere Eos Lotion um, and then Baccarat Rouge or a Temptation from Zara if you're not feeling like spending that kind of money to use it. But yeah, I also got the Dr. Bronner's Citrus because it was recommended to me by uh, someone in the comments. Thank you to you if you're watching this. I really think that I'm going to enjoy this with a saltwater breeze combination that I have. If you want to check out my Bath and Body Works SAS video. Okay, so I wanted to try this Tree Hut Blue Lagoon Shea Sugar Scrub. Uh, I love the Tree Hut Sugar Scrubs in general, so I figured it would be good to give this a try with my summer routine. Again, that salt water breeze. I pair that with Idol. Well, Dossier's version of Idol. So it's basically Idol. And then Hibiscus Bloom from Zara. So I have a whole routine. I can go ahead and do a video on that if you're interested. Oh, I didn't even realize I picked this up. I picked up a lavender bar soap as well from Dr. Bronner's. Maybe I was just going crazy because they had that 50% off. And then I got the Baby Dove Fragrance Free Hypoallergenic Wash. I really, really, really recommend this over a Vagisil or a Summer's Eve or anything like that. I would pick this up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And you only need one pump on your baby washcloth or your hands, whatever you use. It'll make sure you stay fresh for the entire summer. And that's what we want. That's the whole point of this haul is to stay fresh. So next we have shaving. So for shaving, I like to use the Eo Shea 
better shave cream. So this is the Vanilla Bliss flavor. I really, or scent, not flavor. A lot of people like shave oils. I've never tried shave oil. Let me know in the comments below if shave oil is better than shaving cream. So next I got a backup of the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Gel. I really love pairing this at nighttime, even in the summer. A little bit goes a long way with the EOS lotions. I don't do it with any other lotion except the EOS lotions. That's just a personal preference of mine because I like the way that they mix together. I've actually used it on its own one time and I realized that was a no-go too. And speaking of, this is last but not least, I got two. I got the Fresh and Cozy and then I got the Vanilla Cashmere. I like the Fresh and Cozy paired with any rose scented body wash and then I go in with Baccarat Rouge for my red tinted cheeks I don't have Baccarat Rouge which I do. Well, I do, but it's just a tiny size and it smells really great. And with the Vanilla Cashmere, well, the pairings are endless. So if you want a video on the different things that I do with this as far as like what I pair it with, also a shower routine with it um, because I have a couple of different vanillas that I use to shower with before I put this on depending on what perfume I'm going to use. So if you want like maybe a my top five vanilla cashmere combos video, let me know in the comments down below and I'll be happy to record that for you. Yes, so that concludes the haul portion of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed. I really love going to Target and trying to budget and find things that are within that budget and just seeing how I can make sure I keep a control um, and a handle on my need to feel hygienic and clean but also not let it break the bank. And I think that's important for all of us to have an affordable hygienic routine. I think at the beginning of the year I started this journey where I reevaluated what um, hygiene meant to me and I started putting together a routine. This is what it looks like for me. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. And stay tuned for more. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!